welcome back to Hughes Nursery and we're here in the orchard and my dad is going to show you basically the basics of thinning apples and why you should do it. Okay, we're in the orchard today. It's early July, so we've been waiting for the June drop for the trees to naturally thin small apples that'll drop. Um, so I've come along now to see whether some of the trusses, the truss is a group of apples like this, need thinning out. If you don't thin out your trusses, then you'll get lots of small apples and also there's a tendency towards what they call biennial bearing which means basically that you'll have a tree with a huge crop one year and no crop the other so it's really important that if you've got a heavy crop of apples that you thin them out and select the best ones so then rather than having loads of little ones you'll get some decent sized apples the tools I'm going to use today the first one is a special tool that I bought for myself a bit of a treat um, a company called Bergen and Ball of flower and fruit snip and I bought this from a national trust shop um, and it's actually really good. You can also actually use a fairly stout pair of scissors as well um, but you notice it's really important to be able to get in to the trusses and the sharp angle on that makes it easier than the scissors. Also you have less purchase from here it's easier on your hand it's a more ergonomic tool. Okay starting off we want to get rid of any small and misshapen fruit. So looking here, this one's not going to do anything. Snip it back. Here we've got four apples. Really we only want two. So that one's got a bit of damage on it. So I want to get rid of that. And look around, that's a nice big one. And so I'll take out that one again because it's split because of the amount of rain that we suddenly had after a long dry spell. Okay, so we've got two apples left in that truss. This one here, I think you can guess, will be this little one here that's got a crack in it. What I'm actually doing, you can hear me popping stuff into a bucket, um, none of this will get wasted. I can either boil it up and make apple puree out of it or juice it, but at this time of year these will be really sharp so I'll have to add quite a bit of sugar to them, but nothing goes to waste. And then once we've done that, that'll go to our pigs. Now looking at this truss, take that one out. Sometimes you find some that have got some damage on anyway and it's good to take those out. So the little pathetic one. I don't know if you can see there, we've got that. And there's one smaller one in the back which has actually come off by itself. So we've started doing that, this one, and then you find little baby ones like that, they'll just come off um, usually just by doing that. They're the ones that haven't quite come off during the June drop because we haven't had a, a very strong wind. If you look up higher into the tree you can see that there's a, still a fair bit of work to be done. So basically we've now done this branch and thinned it down to two per truss and then that should mean as I go around and do the rest of the tree that we'll get a good crop of decent sized apples this year. 